Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back to another brand new video. When you hear the word gifted, what comes to mind? Do you think of students who receive straight A's, prestigious academic awards, and extensive recognition from teachers and peers, or people with extraordinary potential in a given field, usually art, music, or performing? This isn't always the case, as there are many individuals who possess amazing capabilities that go unnoticed. To better explore the topic of giftedness, in this video, we'll be looking at nine signs you are gifted. Number one, you are extremely curious. Have you heard the saying that bright students answer the question and gifted students ask the questions? Gifted individuals are often highly curious about the world around them and want to learn more than what's offered in a school curriculum. You engage deeply with the material and want to understand concepts from every angle. Gifted learners work to understand the nuances and complexities of a given topic and apply it to their interests beyond what is expected out of their peers. Number two, you are a fast learner. Were you always the one reading ahead of your classes? School for a gifted learner can be a breeze. You understand the material exceptionally well and with little effort. As children, you tend to read at levels far beyond your grade level and in some cases can read proficiently before kindergarten. While it may seem that these are straight A students, it's not always the case. Gifted learners often need more intellectual stimulation than what's offered in the classroom. The material may seem too easy, too repetitive and unimaginative, which can create issues as you might feel under-challenged. Actually, many gifted students will underachieve in school because of this, with many choosing to drop out. While gifted individuals love learning, they often need to have their education adapted to their learning ability to reach their true potential. Number three, you are intense. To describe gifted people in one word, <laughs> intense. Many gifted people have overexcitabilities which affect how they perceive and interact with the world. These overexcitabilities encompass several areas and are salient for the individual experiencing them. For instance, someone with psychomotor overexcitability may have extraordinary energy with difficulty sitting still and quiet Similarly, those with an emotional overexcitability can feel a broad spectrum of emotions rather strongly in a situation, often much more so than the average person. Additionally, you have extraordinary empathy and intuition. Number four, you're a perfectionist. Do you tend to be supremely immaculate? Gifted people set high standards for themselves in order to achieve greatness. You care deeply about your work and want it to be as polished as possible. While your talents may be easy to recognize, it's usually the result of your extreme focus and dedication. Whew. This has its downside, however, as gifted people may overwork themselves, leading to burnout. Number five, you have a broad range of interests. Can you name just one favorite hobby of yours? <laughs> Probably not. Life is full of possibilities and new things to discover. While many people gravitate toward a single passion, for the gifted, it's not that simple. You tend to find it difficult to stick with one topic and feel bounced around from interest to interest. You may have several different projects going at one time that are very different from one another. As an adult, it may be hard to stick with a given career path given your electric skill set. Number six, you have an intense imagination. Do you have a strong interest in the arts? If so, you have extraordinary imagination and creativity. You can synthesize connections between seemingly unrelated ideas in an original way. While this may be present throughout the day, at night, gifted people tend to experience vivid and bizarre dreams, more so than the people around them. Gifted children tend to have multiple imaginary friends. Your rich inner world grows with you into adulthood. Number seven, you are self-directed. Do you love to explore ideas through self-initiated projects? In school, the gifted student may continue their work outside of the class aside from what is assigned. This strong drive to create comes from within. Your desire is a large factor of who you are. Thus, you need to pursue your passions to attain fulfillment. Number eight, you are eccentric. Because you tend to think differently from others, you may stand out against your peers. Your intensities and idiosyncrasies can become a target for criticism. At times, you may feel like an outcast and thus struggle to find people like you. And number nine, you love ideas. Are you fascinated with ideas? Do you love to debate, discuss, and ponder the world around you? As a gifted person, you have a strong sense of justice, a keen eye for logistics, or a sensitivity to the more abstract aspects of human existence. 
Your thirst for knowledge is insatiable and often requires a suitable environment for you to explore your interests. Giftedness shows itself in many forms that very well are missed in school. These unidentified intellectuals and creatives possess many of the same qualities as their identified peers, but maybe in a system that fails to acknowledge them. Many gifted children grow up into gifted adults with unique challenges that may be mistaken for others. Speaking with the right mental health professional can be a great first step to improving your quality of life. What are your thoughts on giftedness? Do any of these describe your experiences? Any signs we missed? Leave a comment down below about your encounters with them if you'd like. Please feel free to share any thoughts you have as well. If you found this video interesting, be sure to hit the like button and share it with those out there figuring out their gifts. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more new videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.